Greetings to you. I'm Keith Massey. A friend of mine who is also a cartoonist and who knows of my love for McDonald's, Big Macs and Big Mac special sauce in particular, recently honored me by cartooning me and featuring me on her Twitter. Here you can see me, bald as I currently am, holding those beloved foods. Check out her work on her Twitter, at Raider Draw. She is one of the smartest and also kindest people I know, and very talented. She also pointed out to me that when you search Google for Big Mac Superfan, I come up like number five. Now, the number one Big Mac Superfan is Don Gorski, who, like me, is from Wisconsin. He has eaten a Big Mac every day since 1972. I haven't eaten that many, but I am a Big Mac super fan. Now, the reason in this video I will be reviewing the filet of fish sandwich is that I'm a Russian Orthodox priest, and we are currently in a fast period leading up to Christmas, in which those observing the fast don't eat meat. In the fast before Easter, we are even stricter and don't eat fish either. Reportedly, McDonald's will release a meatless burger option by then. I'm really hoping that's true. And by the way, if you think that you absolutely need meat to get sufficient protein in your diet, my wife follows an unprocessed, whole food, completely plant-based diet lifestyle. Also, salt, oil, and sugar-free. Here she is at our gym, swinging a kettlebell. I mean, look at her shoulders. She's in the best shape of her life and doing it with no meat in her diet at all. More power to her, but that diet is simply not for me. Anyway, before I talk about the much underappreciated filet of fish sandwich, I wanted to share briefly my previous tributes to all things McDonald's. My first McDonald's video was back in 2012 when I made a video describing how I was unable to get a side of extra special sauce at McDonald's in two different European countries. They just don't understand the American concept that the customer is always right. My love for McDonald's has also been documented in other videos such as the following. I have a video in which I conduct the experiment of whether you can freeze and successfully reheat a Big Mac. Spoiler alert, you can. I am a Latin teacher at a public high school. I have a video in which I explore what the components of a Big Mac would be in Latin. I have a video in which I assemble and consume a McWhopper, a hybrid of a Big Mac and a Burger King Whopper. I have a video in which I conducted a blind taste test of special sauce, actual restaurant sauce, bottled sauce sold in Canada, and two different homemade special sauce recipes. Spoiler alert, the results were surprising. I have a video filmed last spring in which I made a quarantine Big Mac using only components I happened to have in my house, having not provisioned imagining I would need to make a Big Mac. I have a video in which I review the Travis Scott combo and listen to that artist's music for the first time in my life. I was impressed by both. Finally, I have a video in which I review the now available double Big Mac. A Big Mac with four hamburger patties instead of just two. It's amazing. If anything I just described piqued your interest, please go back and watch them in their entirety. Back to the filet of fish sandwich. The sandwich was actually created precisely because a McDonald's franchise in 1962 noticed that sales of burgers slipped dramatically on Fridays when Roman Catholics abstained from meat. Nowadays, Catholics generally only do that during Lent, but thankfully the filet of fish sandwich found a place on the regular permanent menu of every McDonald's. By the way, you may not know, the bun of a filet of fish sandwich is not just any bun that might be used for other sandwiches at McDonald's. It's a special bun only for the filet of fish sandwich. It has a slightly higher sugar content than other buns, and it's amazing. Now, obviously, this is not the first time I have had a filet of fish sandwich. As with all my sandwiches, 
I love extra condiments. So I asked for and received a side of extra tartar sauce. Just as I would put extra special sauce on the top bun of my Big Mac, I put that on as so. And so I'm assembling my sandwich. Um, these get a little messy because honestly stuff does kind of ooze out the side. Let's enjoy a filet for sandwich. It's a wonderful experience. The lightly breaded fish filet patty, it just makes for an exquisite McDonald's sandwich in its own right. I will generally always still get a Big Mac when I can, but I am happy that the filet fish sandwich is there, if even for some occasional variety in life. Thanks for watching. Be well. Be safe. God bless.